Hi guys! Today we're going to talk all about apples. Apples are a fairly staple food throughout the whole world. In fact, there are about 7,500 different types of apples grown around the world, and about 2,500 of them are grown in the United States. The Pilgrims planted the first United States apple tree in the Massachusetts Bay Colony. So apples came over with the Pilgrims and have become pretty popular ever since. People have been enjoying apples um, since 6500 BC and the ancient Greeks and Romans loved them. So apples have been very important throughout the world and in different cultures and today is going to be Apple Day. So I'm going to start the project and you'll see why. And then we'll take a pause to read our book and then we'll go back to our project. Uh, for this activity, you are going to need your long piece of white paper. You're going to need your paintbrush. You're going to need your red and black paint. You are going to need your apple, of course. And you're going to need your list of apples. All of those are in your plastic bag. Um, you may also need some paper towels and a cup of water nearby. Okay, what you are going to want to do first is have your parents help you cut your apple in half. You want to make sure that it is as close to at the half as possible so that you have this nice little pattern here with the seeds in it. Okay? Um, I've dabbed my apple on my paper towel a little bit just to get the surface part dry. Okay, now this apple is going to be like your stamp. You are going to choose the name of an apple from this list of apples and you'll see that it's from our book here. That's why you'll see um, my mom and my puppy. My puppy is not a type of apple, but intermixed in here are types of apples like a Macintosh apple, a Jonah Gold apple, a Granny Smith apple, there's a Red Delicious apple, there's Honey Crisp apples, there's Pink Lady apples, there's Cortland apple, there's Red Delicious apples, all different types of apples. If you don't see your favorite type of apple on this list, then you can find your own list of apples. It's pretty easy to find it on the internet. Um, or if you know that you like a Fuji apple or a Gala apple, those are good for this project too. Okay, so for this project, I think I'm going to do my acrostic poem about a Jonah Gold apple. So, Jonah Gold is J-O-N-A, <clears throat> J-O-N-A-G-O-L-D, eight letters. So I'll need to make sure that eight letters can fit on my piece of paper. Okay, so there's two options to do this. One, you can dip your apple right in the red paint. Okay. Make sure if you have open space there, you can use your paintbrush to spread it around to make sure you have paint all in your apple. Okay, then use your paper towel to dab your paint once or twice. And then you can start printing your apple on the paper. Just push it down hard. Push it down hard. If you feel like you need more paint, put more paint. Since I only need a little bit more, I'm just going to paint my red paint directly onto my apple. J O N A G O. Well, if I if you run out of room. Just stick it up at the top again. L D. And that's perfectly fine. Okay, now 
I have space for my whole name, J-O-N-A-G-O-L-D, Jonah Gold Apple. First graders, you may want to do a smaller apple name like Gala, G-A-L-A, or Fuji, F-U-J-I. Um, or if you're older students and you have extra sheets of paper that you can attach on, you could do a longer apple name like Pink Lady or Granny Smith or Red Delicious. However long you want to make your apple, just attach more pieces of paper here. Or you can make two columns like I did. So I'm going to set this to the side to dry. If you want to, you can put it outside for a few minutes. I'm sure it'll dry real quick. And I'm going to read a story to you now. <clears throat> this story is called Apple Sauce Season. And it is written by Eden Ross Lipton. Apple sauce season starts just about the time school opens, when it is still hot and summery, but vacation is over. One day, Grandma says, it's time for apple sauce. We live in the city. There are no apple trees, but there are farmer's markets where there are lots of apples. Sometimes my grandmother goes to the market, sometimes my, dad, my mom and dad go, sometimes my big sisters. If I don't have soccer, I go too. I love apple names. In our market, first come Ida Red and Paula Red, 20 Ounce and Macintosh, Ginger Gold and Jonah Gold. Later, there's Macon, Baldwin, Northern Spy, King David, and after that come Blind Sap and Black Twig and Mutsu and Mutsu's mother. And there are lots of others. We buy six pounds of apples for sauce because that's just how much our sauce pot holds. And we buy as many more for what Grandma calls eating out of hand. When we get home, the sauce apples are dumped in the kitchen sink and washed. I stand on the stepladder right next to the counter, where the grown-ups chop the apple and choose which ones to cut up first. Sometimes I say put in the little ones, sometimes the big ones, sometimes the dark red or yellow ones. My grandmother says there have to be at least three kinds in each pot of sauce for real flavor, but sometimes we use more. One of this and one of that too. That's why our applesauce is different every week. As one kind of apple disappears, another takes its place. <clears throat> Mom cuts them into quarters. Grandma cuts them into sixths. I don't know why. The apples go into the pot, skin, seeds and all. When it is still summer and there's no cider yet, we add a glass of water or juice so the apples won't burn when they cook. Later, we add fresh cider. It doesn't take, t sorry. It doesn't take the apples long to be soft and bubbly and start to smell good. The first time we make sauce, we make fresh cinnamon sugar, too. I put sugar into a pretty jar, add some dark brown ground cinnamon, put the lid on tight, and shake till the sugar turns pale brown. When the apples are all soft, a grown-up turns off the stove and opens the pot to let the mush cool a bit while I go and get the food milk. We put the hooks on the bottom of the mill on top of a big bowl and carefully put the warm cooked apples into it. We grind and scrape, grind and scrape till all the apples have gone through to the bowl below. All that's left in the mill is a small clump 
of the cooked skins and cores and seeds. A food mill is kind of like a colander and it has a grinder in it where it scrapes and grounds the apples or grapes or whatever you're making into kind of a mush. <clears throat> Next, I put some of the cinnamon sugars into the apple. Not much, just a little. Mom puts in a, a little slice of butter about the size of the tip of her pinky finger and grandma adds a tiny bit of salt. We taste till it tastes right and then it cools some more and thickens. Then it's ready. Daddy doesn't make apple sauce. He makes good things to go with it, like potato pancakes. For, for special mornings, fancy thin pancakes called crepes. He puts it with the roast, and if there's any left at the end of the week, he uses it in a cake that's very good for snacking. <clears throat> we celebrate the first sauce of the season. My big sisters and the grown-ups, sometimes the neighbors, too, all sit at the table. We wait until everyone is served. I get a special cup and then make a good wish for the rest of the season. We eat applesauce plain or with ice cream or cottage cheese or gingerbread or cookies or sliced bananas. The color and the thickness and the taste of the sauce changes every single week. Sometimes it's pink and very sweet. Sometimes it's pale brown and a little dry, so we add more cider. Later, towards Thanksgiving, it's usually yellow. It is always delicious. By December, there are no more new kinds of apples, so we stop making sauce and just eat them. There are other things to do with apples. My grandpa didn't like birthday cake, so he always had apple pie. We remember his birthday by having apple pie with ice cream and a candle on top. Grandpa always saved a piece of that pie for his breakfast to eat with sharp yellow cheese. Daddy sometimes has that too. I've never had that apple pie with cheese on top. Apple pie is good, but I still like applesauce best. Maybe I'll change my mind when I grow up. <clears throat> Maybe not. The end. On your packet of all the apples, you also have a recipe for apple sauce if you would like to make your own when you have a chance to. Okay, so let's check if our apple prints here are dry. Um, besides my first one there, they're all pretty dry. Um, so I think we're all ready to move on to the next. I'm going to wash my brush, and while I'm washing my brush, I wanted to tell you something interesting about apples. Before they were called apples, or the different varieties out of apples, the early colonists used to call apples winter bananas, which is kind of a strange name because apples look nothing like bananas. Okay, now I'm going to use my black paint and for the black paint I'm just going to write the first letter of my name or my Jonah Gove apple name inside the actual print of the apple. Here's my J. 
O, N, A. Make sure you are checking your spelling. Because paint you can't really mess up on. So now I'm Jonah Gold. That's always you need your black paint for. So you can keep that off to the side. I'm gonna stick my paintbrush in my cup. Okay, now comes the poem part. So now I get to decide what word goes along with each letter. For J, that's pretty simple. Jonah Gold apples are juicy. So since I already have my first letter, I just have to write the rest of the word. Okay, so for my O, I am probably going to say, instead of the one word that would describe a Jonah Gold apple, I'm going to use a phrase. So I'm going to say, this apple is on a tree. In acrostic poems, you can use words or short phrases. For N, I think I'll use the word nutritious. For A, apples are amazing. For G, let's put good to eat. And, oh, oh I have another O. <laughs> what am I going to do for my other O? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to skip that one for now while I think about them. Okay. L, I'm going to put love. It's nice to love apples. And D, let's put delicious. You can take your time and fill in any words or phrases that you want to go along with your apple. I thought of another word for an O there, outstanding. And there we have our apple acrostic poem. I hope you guys have fun making it. See you next time. Bye.